USB microphones now work with the Rodecaster Duo and the Rodecaster Pro 2. This is a pretty groundbreaking feature because you can now take your Rode compatible USB microphone, plug it into USB port two on the back of the Duo or the Rodecaster Pro 2 and boom. Now this works with Rode mics such as the PodMic USB, the NT-USB Plus, NT-USB Mini, VideoMic NTG, VideoMic Go 2, XCM50 and this one right here, the XDM100, which is a streaming and gamer dynamic microphone. It's pretty cool. It comes in a box with things like the shock mount, a really long USB-C type cable, and even an extender for your headphones as well if you need that. So you can plug your headphones in the back as I've done for low latency monitoring. So it's simply a case of going to the microphone channel you might have an XLR plugged into, selecting the settings icon, and then going for the USB to input, confirming that, and you'll find that you get level just as you would with any other input into your compatible Rodecaster on the microphone. Now you can obviously change the levels on your microphone that's automatically recognized by the Rodecaster. And by the way, in some cases, you might get an incompatibility message, meaning that you need to plug your Rode USB microphone into your computer and update the firmware using Rode Central, just as I did with this XDM100. Now, one of the biggest features I think that comes with this new compatibility on Rodecaster Pro 2 and Rodecaster Duo is the ability to play with presets and effects. So for instance, right here on my XDM100, I am using a high pass filter. I can roll it off. You can hear more bass, disable it completely, and you hear all the bass and all the presence of this microphone. Let's put a 75 hertz filter on it to keep those pluses away as I'm not using a pop filter on it. We've got a noise gate, which of course, if I want, I can increase the threshold and uh, you'll hear myself quietening down as the, the gate tries to fight me there. So I can actually gate my USB mic, which is pretty insane. I've got compression here. So if I want, I can go deeper with the threshold on this and make it a really punchy microphone. Listen to that. Increase the ratio. And I've got, wow, I've got a really nicely compressed sound much better actually than the start of this video. I'm kind of liking this. Take the attack down, take the release right down and make it really punchy. I can hear the noise gate is fighting me a bit, so I'm gonna turn that down just a bit so I've got more of my voice here, but less of my background noise. When I go quiet, you'll hear the gate kicks in slightly and gets rid of some of that background noise. Now also available, I've got Aphex effects here, so I can definitely drive more big bottom if I want more bass, especially as I, I put in that uh, high pass filter. That sounds good. Oh, bit of a plosive coming in there. And uh, then I can also tune the aural exciter and uh, change the frequencies there. So I go, wow, that is cool. That is crisp and clear. It's all possible now thanks to a beta firmware update from Rode. If you want to get access to beta software, use the link in the description to my video to sign up. It should be a very quick process where you'll get approved fairly quickly. You can plug USB mics in and try out this groundbreaking new feature. I'm excited that Rode are listening to creators and helping us take USB mics on the move along with our compatible Rodecaster to do podcasts in an easier way. That means now you can plug in even more microphones to your or Rodecaster products. Let me know how you'll be using this feature and what you'd like to see next on the Rodecaster in the comments down below.